Hello channel friends, this is Dobie Copen 38 and today I'm bringing you a video and this video is going to be a rant. So if you have kids around, get rid of them. I'm not going to be cussing, but I'm pretty hot. I got a comment on my video that I did about the pepper spray that this one in the 4 ounce is not legal in the state of California and he sent me a, a notice that says as far as I understand you can only carry a two and a half ounce bottle of spray in California you might want to look into that and his, his uh, name is Bankston 45 well you know what Bankston you're absolutely right so thanks a lot I appreciate it what I don't like is the fact that this is what's allowed in California now this product is excellent don't get me wrong I got nothing negative to say about the product itself it uh, sprays in a stream it's got two main Scoville units so it's going to do the job it's going to do the job really good the only problem is you only have half as much so how far is this going to last? not as long as this that's for sure now why is it in California that you can only have two and a half ounces? Well, I don't know, but they're t called liberals. Okay, uh, that's the bottom line. What's why the difference between only being able to carry a two and a half and a four is anybody's guess to me. I don't really know, and it doesn't really matter because there's one thing that I know: this won't protect you as long as that. Period. It's impossible. Two ounces only last for two ounces length, which is only half as long as this. And what does that boil down to? Well, this might give you enough time to get away. This one might give you time to get away if you're quick. Okay? That's the bottom line. There's no reason that I can see other than the philosophy in California that less is better. Why? I don't know. Now let's go over the product for a minute. Get uh, calmed down a little bit. It's got a lock. Now it's activated. Now it's locked. Can't see the uh, spray. I'll turn it on. There. I'm not going to point it at myself. There. Now it's locked and more or less in the safety position. Now they have two different ones. They have a green label and they have the blue. If it was a green label, it'd be a fogger. The blue label is for a stream. Now, like I said, this is two ounces and it does work quite well. Now, I have used pepper spray on people and it's quite effective. The only, my biggest gripe is that this isn't as much and it'll never be as much as this. That's my whole point. This, to me, and, and any whether it's this brand or any other brand in a four ounce size, is probably going to give you enough time to at least get away. That's the main thing. Protection and getting away from the dangerous situation. That's why you would carry this as an alternative to a deadly weapon. You get my drift? if this runs out you're gonna to have to result in deadly force if you have it long before you would with this just in case anybody has any questions this will save you longer than this because it's got more than this it's impossible to last as long with this one as this they're both good products they're both excellent if this was legal in California in the this size I'd have this one now this one's going to be emptied I'm not going to be in violation of the law I don't feel like getting thrown in jail over some pepper spray but I am not very happy about a law that says you can only have two and a half ounces to protect yourself from not and not have to result in using deadly force that has no common sense to it none at all now as far as the product, you can also purchase it with this little sheath. It's got a little belt clip on it. 
it's nice and tight it fits on your belt but there's one other thing I need to show you I took one out and I put it in the holster looks nice doesn't it notice something remember what I talked about with this and this style holster remember I had to had to bring it down so you could grasp it well this is the same way and when I put this in this holster it is really tight now I'm sitting here and I'm working around a tripod and I can get a pretty good grip on it and it's buried just deep enough to where the only way you're going to get this thing is by the very lid and that's going to be slow now one of two things are going to happen this is going to have to really soften up which means I'm going to work the dog out of this thing to uh, make this slide in and out easily because what I'm worried about is that if I trim this one the way I did this I don't know how sturdy this stitching is going to be it might come completely apart then it would be throwing it away if it doesn't loosen up my suggestion and it's only a suggestion but this is what I'm going to do if it doesn't loosen up significantly is this is going to go bye bye this retainer because if it's this tight it's not going to fall out see what I mean if this won't come out anyway now without a good hard tug that means it's not going to fall out while you're going down the street so what I'm going to do if it doesn't loosen up and I'll go over this in a video with you is that this part of this strap is going to go bye bye and I'm going to use, loosen up this clip a little bit I'm going to work on it to loosen up a little bit of tension and it's going to go on my belt and if I actually need it I'm going to take the whole thing off at one time and then I'll flip the lever and deploy the spray because if you have it set like this with it in line with the uh, with the back then it's going to be ready to go and, and you'll actually be able to use the spring clip almost as a guide it's going to sit right in your hand straight okay I'll put this back on safe I'll show you if you put without this on just cut that thing off if this thing and I'll let you know if it doesn't loosen up I'll keep you in touch because I do like to be able to use non-lethal force if you, if you have to use any force at all this is going to come off and then when you when you pull it out you're just going to pull take a hold of it and you're going to pull it right off your belt flip it open and let and uh, protect yourself you'll deploy it in a safe manner you can't remember what I went over before you can't just use this stuff because someone asked you for some money or directions or you, if you just feel nervous you have to have an obvious threat you can't just do it just because the laws aren't written like that now as far as the rant I'm kind of over a little bit of that but this makes absolutely no sense at all how this is going to do the same job as this and what and why the difference in California and I believe in New York and if anybody knows anywhere else well this is the only thing allowed let me know I'd like to address that well this is the update for the new pepper spray that I'll be carrying like I said I'm going to deploy this and get rid of it in a safe area in a safe manner and then I'll be using this and I'll let you know in an update whether or not I'm able to continue to uh, use it either with it with the holster or without the holster or whether or not I'll just be taking the entire taking this top piece off and just using it all at one time well thank you for watching appreciate your time always be safe always thinking about safety this is W Copeland 38 saying I'll be back with more for you